what's up guys welcome back to community tv tips and tricks living your best life before i start this video i just want to let you know if you guys want to have more dosage calculation um question how to videos don't forget to leave that in the comments down below if i see a lot of people like it then i will take the time out and do it every week a set of like those calculation questions that people want another thing is don't forget to give this video a like that's also how i know that you guys like these kind of videos and also i want to preface this video by saying if you don't understand something if you're somebody it takes a long time to understand something or um when you're in class and then everybody the teacher says oh do you, you guys understand and everybody's saying yes and you're the only person who has a question and people scoff and oh ooh, they do all that because you're answering a question just know i empathize heavily from my personal experience with you so i want to let you know that no question is a stupid question you may feel scared to ask a question in class but i encourage you to ask anyway no matter if the teacher gets annoyed or the people get annoyed because this is your education and this is your money and this is your dreams your life and your future but i know some people are going to be shy and scared anyway so your girl kimmy d has your back so I'm going to be doing these questions. If you guys like the way I teach, just leave it in the comments down below. If there's anything I can improve, let me know down below. And if you have any questions at all, don't be afraid to leave it in the comments down below. I empathize highly with people who don't understand. I empathize highly with people who it takes them a long time or a while to understand. You are not stupid. You are not dumb. Everybody has strengths and weaknesses in all different places. So please, 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 I just want to say that don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. No matter what anybody says so I just want to help people because I know how it feels when you don't understand something and everybody's getting upset so I'm going to try to explain in the most simplest way possible the way I understand it and um, I hope you guys like it so the first question I'm going to do is it says oh yeah by the way I just want to say sorry guys for not posting for a long time I've been so busy with school but I know I promised y'all that I would do this so that's why I'm doing it so the first question says, explain how you would prepare each of the following solutions using liquid stock hydrogen peroxide as a solute and saline as a solvent. So when you see a question like that, they just want to they want you they want to see what you would take. Take this and that and get this, right? So don't worry, that that will make sense. So the question number one is states 480 ml of one third strength for wound irrigation, and then it just gives a blank line. And you're supposed to write how you would prepare it. So this is very simple. I'm using a four function calculator. This question is very simple. So how do you get the solute, which is the hydrogen peroxide? You just do this. One divided by three times 480 is 159.9 which is basically 160 so 160 is going to be your solute or your hydrogen peroxide right and then 480 is going to be your total solution right and then how do you find the solvent is that you subtract 480 minus 160 so how much would that give if they allow you to use the full function calculator just use it I know y'all can do math but just in case you know you want to make sure that you get it right but make sure you know how to do this quick because more than likely your test will be timed that equals 320 so you use 320 is the solvent so how would you answer this question I'm not gonna write it down but you would write out I would prepare 160 ml of hydrogen peroxide in 320 solvent for a total solution of 480 milliliters of one drink solution for wound irrigation so that's how you would do it okay all right guys so for the, our second question it says explain how would you prepare each of the following from ready to use nutritional formula for the specified time period note which supply you would you would 
note which supply would require the least waste of unused formula okay so basically you have this order right here and they're asking you to know how you would um prepare this which is what we did in our previous question and then also how how um which supply would cause you to lose the waste right so to be cost effective if you work in a hospital or wherever so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do exactly what we did in our previous video we're going to figure out the amount of ensure we're going to need so we all know that to get the amount of solute you're going to multiply the strength times the total right so one is going to be one divided by three times nine Oops. Times 900, which is equals to 300, right? 299. So we know that we need 300 ml of Ensure. Now, just to space this all out, the solute is the solvent, I'm sorry, 900 minus 300 is 600 so 600 ml of solvent so whether we're using water most likely to make the solution for a total of 900 ml so 900 add that 900 ml is going to be your total okay so we want this over nine hours okay so the next thing we're going to do is it says how much supply that's what they're asking you they're asking you um, how would you, how much you would prepare so when they ask you that like um, how no which supply would require the least amount of unused formula they're asking you for the solute so the only portion of all of this that we need is the 300 ml of ensure that's the only portion that we need at this moment okay so you have ensure 4 8 and 12 fluid ounces and with this problem you have to know that one fluid ounce ooh slipping and sliding you have to know that one fluid ounce is equal to 30 ml that's something you have to know that's something you just have to memorize it's not nothing about math right so you need 300 milliliters of water and you have 4, 8, 12. So what you're going to do is, um, how many milliliters is in 4 fluid ounces? So we know that 1 fluid ounce is equal to 30 ml. So all we have to do is uh, multiply 4, which is the fluid ounce, times 30 ml. So what is 4 times 30? So 30 times 4 is equal to... 120 so we know in the four fluid ounce can we have 120 ml so um so that wouldn't be enough we need 300 so let's say we were going to use the four fluid ounce four times 30 is 120 okay four times another one four times another 30 is going to be 120 again so 120 times 2 equals 240 that's not going to be enough okay that's not going to be enough so 120 times 3 that's going to give us 360 okay that will be enough so it's going to take us three of the four fluid ounce cans to give us 360 milliliters of ensure right but we need 300 so we would use a 300 and we would waste 60 so because we subtracted 300 which is the end shore so we would waste 60 ml right so that's how much you would waste if you would use the four fluid ounce so let's say if we we're going to use the eight fluid ounce so eight times 30 is equal to 240 so 240 plus 240 is equal to 480 right so 8 times 30 is equal to 240 so it would take two of eight fluid ounces and that would give us
480. But from that 480, we would only use 300, remember? Because that's how much we need. So 480 minus 300 would give us 180. So we would have to waste 180. So let's say we could use the 12 fluid ounce. Let's see. So 12 times 30, that would give us... Three sixty and three six three hundred three sixty minus three hundred is sixty, so we would waste sixty ml. So now, out of all these, so they said, so now we know how many um, cans we would have to use. We would have to use three of the four fluid ounce cans if we use the four fluid ounce. We would have to use two of the eight fluid ounce if we use the eight fluid ounce. And we would have to use one of the 12 fluid ounce if we were to use the 12 um, fluid ounce can. But the question says what would require the least amount of waste? So th this one you waste, we waste 60. This one, you would waste 180 milliliters, and this one, you would waste only 60. So, obviously, we're not going to use the 8 fluid ounce because you would waste the most milliliters. So, which one would you choose? Waste, so, both, both of these you could choose, really, because it's waste 60 ml, waste 60 ml. But the ideal answer is the 12 fluid ounce, and let me tell you why. Because with the 12 fluid ounce, you're only using one can, but with the four fluid ounces, you have to open three cans. So what makes more sense? What is more economical is if you just use one can instead of opening three cans and it wastes and it saves time. So the answer is you would use one of 12 fluid ounce cans and then you would waste 60. Okay, so for our last question for today is one fourth strength isomil, four fluid ounce by mouth every four hours for 24 hours. And the supply is isomil three, six, and 12 fluid ounces. Now, if you feel like what I taught you before really helped, I'm gonna give you a moment. Just pause this video and try to figure it out. Pause it right here, try to figure it out, and then, you know, come back. Okay, so this is the resume. So I hope you guys tried this problem. This problem is actually a little tricky. Now with this problem, of course, you there's two things you have to be aware of. The first thing you have to be aware of is, of course, one fluid ounce is equal to 30 milliliters. That's the first thing you have to be aware of. And the second thing you have to be aware of is this tricky little guy right here. Every four hours for 24 hours. So that's going to change a lot, okay? So it says one fourth strength isomil, four fluid ounces by mouth every four hours for 24 hours, right? Okay, so that's going to be an important part every four hours for 24 hours. So before you do anything, before I would even start the problem, that's this is how I would do it, right? Before we do anything, this you have to know that the this total solution, which is the four fluid ounces, is not going to be your real total solution because it's going to because that is given every four hours for 24 hours. So to find the total solution, which will enable you to find the solute, which is the isomil, you have to divide 24 into four. I'm sorry, for guys, if I sound like a commercial, but 24 divided by four will give you the total amount, you know, of hours that you'd have to give it. So 24, so every four hours, right? For 24 hours, 24 divided by four will give you six. So when you get that six, you multiply six times the four to get you the total solution. So if it was four hours for eight hours, you would do four divided by eight. Whenever it says four hours, hours for this hours you just always divide this into this right so 24 again let's do it so you can see divided by 4 is going to give you 6 right so you're going to multiply 6 times 4 so 6 times 4 gives you 24 so <clears throat> 
24 is going to be your new total solution. So we have 24 fluid ounces. So your new problem should read one fourth strength of isomil. You guys know. Um, four fluid ounce, right? So how are you going to find the strength? Remember, when they ask you that question, they're asking you for the total. So the total is going to be 24. So that's how. That's why your new problem is going to look like this. So how you find the solute or isomil, the strength, do it the same way we've been doing it. One divided by four times 24 is going to give you six. So the answer is six fluid ounces, right? So, but notice, I know I said one fluid ounce equal 30 ml. Notice that the problem is already in fluid ounces. Because if you rewind this video, you go back, um, most of the problems, all the problems I believe, is like four, 400 ml or 800 ml. But don't automatically multiply by 30, 3 times 30, because you see it. You have to listen. Like You need to really read the problem and really need to pay attention. It's already in fluid ounces. This is already in fluid ounces too. You don't have to do any conversion here. So just because I tell you, okay, one fuzzy theory amount, don't mean that you automatically convert. Look at the problem and really see what they're asking you. It's already in fluid ounces, so there's no conversion that has to be done here. So you would have you have six fluid ounces is the one that you need. You have your supply, isomil three, six, and twelve fluid ounces. You would use the six fluid ounces. And if they ask you, well, how many milliliters is that? You already know. Sixteen fluid ounces times thirty, whatever that gives you, that will be your ML. Alright, guys, so that's all I have time for right now. I kind of want to do this is kind of like a test run. I just wanted to see um, what do you guys think about this video. If it's helpful, definitely comment down below. This is the first time I ever did like a, um, the only teaching thing I've done like this is the um, and I see you guys really like that video too. Uh, I'll leave it in the comments down below if you guys want to see it. It's like how to um, write like notes like when you're working and stuff like that but I never did like a teaching video like this so this is something I'm trying out seeing if you guys like this on my channel I'm just trying to give a little variety in my channel so if you guys like this kind of video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if there's something that you guys want to see and specifically don't give the vi I mean give this video a thumbs up um but if you guys really like it let me know down in the comments that's how I know to keep doing them um all right so I'll see you later thank you for watching bye